Are you in the market now to purchase a home in Silicon Valley? If so, this could be the most important video you could watch. Low interest rates, lack of competition, instant equity as the market rises. If you're serious about buying a home, now is the time to act. You talking to me? Well, who the hell else are you talking to? You talking to me? Let me explain why myself and the top economists in our nation and area feel we're about to hit a significant housing spike. Of course, first off though, besides me, who can't wait to finally get a haircut? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of digging it though, but uh, let's get back to business. <laughs> um, let's start off with one of the biggest challenges facing the housing industry right now, um, which is really determining what impact the current pandemic may have on home values. Some buyers are actually hoping for major price reductions because the health crisis is straining the economy. The price of any item, however, is actually determined by supply and demand. As a matter of fact, I've even heard some home buyers and even some realtors make comparisons out there to the housing market of 2008. I personally lived and worked through that market in 2008. I even bought a home in 2007. One thing I can assure you, this market isn't even close to resembling 2008. Supply and demand, in 2008, there was 13 and a half months of available inventory to select from. For measurement value, an inventory of five to six months in our area signifies a buyer's market. Anything less is a seller's market. Currently, we have one and a half months of inventory available. No need to rewind this at all. You heard that right, one and a half months. While buyer demand has decreased rather dramatically during the pandemic, the number of homes on the market has also slowed significantly. <clears throat> We've experienced like several challenges over the last few weeks, right? No open houses, can't show any homes that are occupied. You know, these obstacles combined with the overall fear and health concerns pushed a temporary pause button to a market that was absolutely on fire in the first quarter, surpassing actually the previous home value highs of 2018. Ivy Zellman, president of Zellman Associates, um, she's long been known as an oracle of sorts in the projection of the real estate market. In a recent quote, she said, supported by our analysis of home price dynamics through cycles and other periods of economic and housing disruption, we expect home price appreciation to decelerate from current levels in 2020, though easily remain in positive territory year over year, given the beneficial factors of record low inventories and a historical low interest rate environment. Another potential forecasting point, a few weeks ahead of us in the pandemic, the real estate market in China has had a bona fide explosion since February, according to Mansion Global. A couple of quick statistics for you to digest. Over the past week, we've seen home showings increase 33% and home purchase applications increased 12%. In regards to home showings, they're now up 61% since their lowest point on March 28th and only down 35% in total from May 2019. Based on the current projections, showings should catch up to the norm in about two weeks. According to the San Jose Mercury News today and a Zillow study, home values are rising as prices are up for the third straight month and are up almost 5% year over year in our area. Are you aware who the most common home buyer is in Silicon Valley? Right now it's older millennials who they're actually dominating the home buying market right now. Let me give you a snapshot. They're in their thirties in the tech industry, 20% plus down payment, good credit, no children yet, but some are in the planning stage. Um, additionally, Silicon Valley unemployment is much lower than other areas. And as a matter of fact, many top Silicon Valley employers are hiring right now. Unlike during the housing crisis in 2008, when so many people were locked out of getting mortgages, there's not a mortgage crisis right now. People are still getting approved for mortgages and buying homes. Bottom line, even though the economy has been placed on pause, it appears home prices will remain steady throughout the pandemic. Businesses will not go back to the way we knew before the pandemic, but will reinvent themselves to be more resilient adapting their operational models to the, the new normal. If you're thinking of buying, don't let this be a time where you once again say, I shoulda, coulda, woulda, because the longer you wait, the more competition you're gonna have. Warren Buffett shared a sentiment over and over throughout the years. 
be fearful when others are aggressive, be aggressive when others are fearful. Let's do this. Be sure to watch my next video where I'll discuss the most common reasons people are choosing to move after the shelter in place order and what we're doing to show homes safely. Again, I'm Keith Walker and I'm here to educate and navigate, not speculate and fabricate. Follow me and subscribe to my regular updates. We have a team with a wide range of every background, generation, and language here to help you. Contact me for a casual and private Zoom consultation today. If you're serious, don't wait. Thank you.